Hey, I'm Max from Insta Restoration, and today I'm going to show you how to scan your vintage prints on your Mac computer. Um, before we actually getting started with scanning, you should take a look at the surface of your scanner, the glass surface. Um, if it's greasy or there's any dirt on it, um, clean that dirt by using a glass cleaner and um, a cloth. You should also take a look at the photograph you want to scan. If there's a lot of dust on it or particles, um, try to blow that away or use a very soft brush for cleaning it. Um, never use any liquids, no water um, and especially no detergent or any cleaning um, chemical. You will definitely see it um, that you've um, destroyed the photograph. Um, it maybe it takes a week or two, maybe a year. But wherever you use um, chemicals, this is destroying your photograph eventually. Um, so, after you turn on your scanner and you put in your photographs, you click up here on the magnifying glass and type in scanner. And then this printers and scanners uh, thing pops up. Double click on it. And then you have this... Uh, Preference view of your scanners and printers. Um, select the one you want to use. Uh, for me, this is the Epson one right now, but the manufacturer doesn't matter. So you can use uh, HP scanners, uh, Canon scanners, Brother scanners, any kind of manufacturer. Um, so select it here and then press the scan button up here and then open scanner. Then the uh, scanning software pops up. And it's going to take like a preview scan of our um, photographs. Um, so sometimes it happens that you end up in this view. Um, when this view pops up, you simply click down here on show details and you go to the more um, precise version of it. Uh, we need that one for um, proper scans. So, um, what's important is that you always use color, no matter if it's a black and white photograph or a color photograph, always use color. Um, the resolution is the um, amount of detail we're going to scan. So what's important is always use at least 300 dpi, that means you can do a one-to-one -one copy of your image. Um, I'm going to leave 300 dpi, but you could also scan um, with 600 dpi. Um, here, auto selection, turn that one off. We're going to select our images manually. Um, scan 2 is where he's actually going to save your photographs. You have these standard folders up here. Or you can also select a more specific folder by clicking on other. I'm going to leave it um, on the desktop. Um, name it that's a really important part of it um don't use the standard tags um use a very specific one that makes it easier for you to find your photograph afterwards so i'm going to call that grandma vintage yes this is my grandma <laughs> um format use jpeg that's the first one up here and image correction none we want to have the image the way the scanner actually scans it so after we did that, we're going to draw some frames around our photographs. So make the frames a little bit bigger than the actual photograph. And then another one here. You can also move it by clicking. And then what you do is simply press scan. Then he's going to scan the first image. And after he's done with the first image, he goes all the way back and scans the second one. It's going to take a little while. So, the second one. And as you see, he's going to use numbers. So it's like the first file is Grandma Vintage, the second file is Grandma Vintage 1, then Grandma Vintage 2, and so on, and so on, and so on. Um, so we're done with that one. You can close the software now. Simply close it like this, and then you see we have our images up here on the desktop. As you can see, there are 
in the wrong direction. So simply double click on them. And then the preview application of Mac is opening up. And then up here, you see this rotate um, icon. Click on it as many times until it's right. So this is the right uh, view. Then go up on file and save. And as you can see, uh, here it flips to the right side. So we do the same thing for the other one. Suck, suck, suck. And then again, file save. And it's saved. So after that, you can simply take those photographs and upload them to our web page. And we're going to restore them for you. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope I could help you. Um, scanning your photographs.